Police are trying to find the shooter or shooters involved in the murder of a man in Northwest Beach. Oh, we need some assistance because obviously we know that people know what's going on. And again, I believe that they are afraid. All right, what is up, everybody? So in 2017, Sababy recorded his hit song, Pull Up With A Stick, using a broken microphone in his bedroom in the Ninth Ward of Atlanta. And this song quickly became the summer anthem of 2017 when the music video started doing numbers. And the reason people were drawn to this music video was this motherfucker Sababy was crooning his ass off with all sorts of artillery in the back. And that's what made it stand out. But it was also one of the main pieces of evidence in a federal investigation that took down 28 buildings in the ninth ward of Atlanta. There's so much going on in that apartment complex. It's just nuts. They're all throwing up gang signs. You got little kids in the video throwing up these gang signs. Now, we're gonna get into all this, but first, check out my song of the day. This is Varsity. Let's go. Boy, I got a lot of heart and a lot of passion. God gave me all the strength, now my demons passing. I was starving for success like a nigga fasting. All them demons lurking at me, I won't let them back in. I've been really working while they napping. Tell me why you can't be real with me, show your actions. I've been keeping it a thou, you've been keeping fractions. But I bet when I'm a blow, they be wanna back in. City going crazy, but that's where last year all these niggas didn't play me. Main moves got views, now they hate. In order to understand this story, we gotta travel to Atlanta, more specifically, Zone 1. Atlanta's divided into six zones, because the city map is confusing as fuck, and since nobody agrees on boundaries, they just went with zones. Zone 2 is to the north, and that's the place of affluence. If you wanna ball out, you go there. All the rich celebrities are there, they have these nice penthouses, it's beautiful. Now the south is Zone 3. This is like the Silicon Valley of trap music. This is where rappers go to record, collaborate, and get shit done. You have record labels there like 1017 Brick Squad, Future's Free Bands record label is there. If you want to be productive, that's where you go. But in this story, we're going to the west side of Atlanta called Zone 1. More specifically, the Ninth Ward. This is where Sababy and his family moved from Chicago at an early age to pursue his brother's rap career. Now, I really respect that when the whole family moves as a unit together to chase an opportunity, that's dope. But in chasing that dream, there's a lot of pain and a lot of struggle. Unfortunately, Sababy's brother's career did not take off like they wanted to. The family spent many painful years just trying to make ends meet. Sababy always wanted to be a video game developer. And around the time when YBN Namir was in the online GTA community, rapping over his headset, Sababy was there too, making GTA montages. He also made a map on GTA called Nuketown. One day he decided to take these creative talents and deploy them into his own rap career. And his brother helped produce his music. He dropped two projects, but they didn't pop the way he wanted to. The family was struggling to survive and the pressure was getting to him. We was broke, man. Eating hot dogs and stuff like that. He was literally physically losing hair out of his head, man. Had bald patches, man. And he just didn't care about nothing, man. Now he was gonna quit rap, but he decided to shoot one last music video. And he knew he needed to bring out the heavy guns, literally. He knew that showing a shit ton of guns in his music video would make it go viral. And that's what happened. It's in this area that police say gang members filmed this disturbing video. He went to a housing complex on Delmar Lane in the Ninth Ward called the Sierra Ridge Apartments. Now this place was like a safe house for nefarious activity. It was like a weapon stash of stolen guns and drugs. And what's ironic is the slogan on the entrance of these apartments was, Welcome to the good life. And that shit was a lie. See, the teens in the area were gathering an arsenal by breaking into cars and stealing guns. We all know that car break-ins are a huge problem in the city of Atlanta. They make up 40% of the crime in the city, in fact. If you own a weapon, don't leave it in the car. Thieves, as young as 12, are snatching them, and things can only get worse after that. They would break into 100 cars, find one or two guns, and do the same thing the next day. The apartment complex was becoming a big problem for Zone 1 police. Just three days after Sababy's music video went viral, it became the target of a state and federal gang initiative codenamed Operation Triple Beam. A week after the music video was filmed, 
there were two separate murders in the complex. This was the perfect storm. A 22-year-old kid was shot four times in the chest with a 40 cal. When the police arrived, he was dead in the back of a car next to an 80-round drum for an AK-47. Apparently, he was just trying to sell a TV that he had stolen, but then he himself was robbed at gunpoint and the whole thing went south. The problem was the police were having trouble with witnesses. Nobody wanted to talk until finally someone came in and said that she saw the suspect hanging around at Sababy's music video shoot just days before. The feds pulled up the music video that they hadn't seen yet and were like, God damn. It was like an investigator's wet dream. Pause. We've had our full unit going through frame for frame, trying to document people from the video and figure out their criminal history, figure out their gang affiliation. They also pulled up a behind the scenes video that was on YouTube. It was like a tutorial on how to self-incriminate. Then the police went to the complex, swept it clean, taking people in one by one as someone gave up the shooter's name. Now, long story short, they were sent on a wild goose chase for several weeks, trying to find a man with yellow dreads who apparently had an AK-47, but this turned out to be a girl with yellow dreads who had an AK-47, but she wasn't the shooter. She did, however, lead them to the actual shooter, whose name was G-28. Operation Triple Beam led to 26 charges and two life sentences. The housing complex on Del Mar Lane was hit with hundreds of code violations. Apparently, they even shut off the water due to an unpaid bill of 500 grand. Eventually, the city ordered it to be demolished. 28 buildings, gone. As for Sababy, he somehow dodged the whole situation, went on tour with Young Thug, and then announced he was retiring from rap to develop a video game. <laughs> I guess things went full circle. But he did not retire. I'm pretty sure I saw one of his music videos a couple days ago. And that shit was crazy. Like, this man has mad talent for his music videos. But yeah, man. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you want me to cover next. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on. And I will see you in the next one.